Resident Evil 4. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to Resident Evil 4. Another four hours of it. Um, I think I've enabled gyro controls, and I'm excited to check it out because um, that may help with some aiming. Johnny, thank you for the info on that. Let's hope I got it right. I'll update you about my headset in a little bit. Wow, Johnny. That was easy as fuck. Please edit out fuck if it ends up being in the first um, 30 seconds. Someone said, I still miss old Vinny, Mike. This chat member would, would have me using a crusty, gross microphone for the next 10 years of my life. <laughs> no, I listen, I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, I'm not done fucking with the audio quality yet, though, by the way. I have more things I'm going to end up doing um, to get it even better sounding than before. But the good news is my new ear pads have improved my life so much. Why does Leon keep walking backwards on his own? Um. Oh, nothing but the finest ways. Stick drift? Restart controller, I, I did. Huh. Well, this is my new pro controller. Oh, it's just doing stuff on its own. It's just making Leon turn around. Huh. Yeah, it's connected. It's wired. I unplugged and replugged. Well, we'll we'll try this for a little while. Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. Did you hear that, motherfucker? You hear what he just said? Add an analog dead zone. It seems okay now. I I kind of remember having this problem with Elden Ring, but I, I could be wrong. So, yeah, uh, hi everyone, welcome to the stream once again. Um, I know everyone and their mother and their father and their sister and brother are playing Resident Evil 4 at the moment, but I have not had a chance to play this very much and have been very excited to play more of it. Okay, so we have to go through some shrines. There's a stone pedestal here. The proper way to say that word. Um... God, it looks so good, chat. And I love, like I said, this boat stuff that's been expanded is... is pretty fantastic. Um... The East Island has a gold egg, right. I re yes, you, someone mentioned that last time. I played more dredge today. Awesome. It, even better than the first three hours. <laughs> so good. Okay, I got a splendid bangle. Get the gun in the middle of the lake. That's this. Um, okay, so uh, let me just address one thing at a time. So headset, even though I don't sound exactly how I'd like to just yet, and I think I'm still over compressed, I'm going to be looking into ways to get my mic quality even a little bit closer and a little bit better than before. So stay tuned for that. I think it's pretty good right now, but I don't... I'm not happy with it 100%. I'm, I'm getting closer. Um, the microphone on this headset is wonderful. Now, I'm also able to hear myself a lot better because I got the um, chat. I got Velour Memory Foam ear pads, and it makes a world of difference. I could not believe Villor, not Velour. And and they are so comfortable. And I can hear a little bit more of the outside world. And they're not as bassy. And it it was only like twelve bucks. It like changed everything. 
I can hear myself in a way that I sound... I sound good in my own ears. Like... Even better than previously, to a degree. So, I'll say this. For the 169 I paid for this for, as a convention price for this headset, it's well made, it's sturdy, it's got a good microphone, it's got full headphone range, like I can hear bass, I can hear myself really great, but if you get this thing, I would say just invest in new ear pads, because these, these new ones are, are really, are really, really good, and are extremely comfortable. It's called the Stream Set, it's, um, Audio-Technica makes it, it's, it's specifically made for streamers. It took them this long to make a headset like that, chat. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know, I am no longer like angry at the sound of my own voice. I, I can actually, I can hear myself clearly and comfortably. And when I play music, it sounds so much better than my old AKGs. So, uh, just wanted to give you an update. It really, between the headset and the ear pads, everything worked out. Well, there's treasures here. I've been here already, but, um... Yeah, music sounds good. It's, yeah, ATH, uh, ATH M50Xs with a microphone. But it's a condenser mic, so it's not like gamer headset Xbox Live mic, which most companies just keep making. We'll talk about E3 dying. I've got some stuff to say about that. Oh, the gyro stopped working. Um, the Switch Pro controller is very, very finicky with Steam. Does the 8-Bitdo controller have gyro? Remember I had issues with this, didn't work last time I tried it. Let me give it a shot. If you connect it in Switch mode... Isn't that going to just lead to the same problems? I remember having issues, um... ...with this when I was trying, like, to do Elden Ring... ...and other stuff involving Gyro. Like, um... When I was doing Ocarina of Time 3D. I need one second here. Let me just do something. Controller layout. Um, edit layout. Wait, no. Gyro Resident Evil 4. Community layouts. I, I'm sorry, everyone. It just stopped working. So... Apply layout. Okay. No, no, does not work. God damn it. Locked drawer, locked treasure, treasure. You just reconnect the controller and it works. Yeah, the gyro worked for a minute with the Switch controller and then just stopped. Which, again, Ocarina of Time 3D, I had the same issue. <sighs> you know what? Just never mind. I've already wasted a lot of time here.
Do I have a dual shock sense? I have, um... Yeah, I've got a... PS4 controller. That's the gigantic fish that lives in the lake for me. Fish oil has many uses. So the lunker bass. So what what you're saying is I should try the PS4 controller. Oh, that requires a different cable. Nope, not this time, chat me room chat members. It's not happening. I'm sorry. It, that that uses a different type of cable. Why so averse to mouse and keyboard? I'm not averse to it, I just enjoy... ...controller for Resident Evil a whole lot more. What the hell is going on here? Hmm. I'll be honest, at this point, Leon has seen worse. Talk about E3, please. Um, well, I don't really know what to say about it because it's all been said, like a bunch, but E3 as a trade show is very much a relic of the 90s, and the internet has really changed the way like uh, companies deliver news to us. And I think the Nintendo Direct really kind of solidified that whenever that started. Um, the pandemic didn't help. You know, I'm sure that helped put the final nail in the coffin of E3. But overall, I just don't see the point of it. Vinny sounds sick. It's a new microphone, chat member. E3 had good moments. You know what? It's the cringe that was the most fun moments. Like, I say fun, but also, like, you know, they're driving, like, cars and motorcycles up onto the stage. So, yeah, I mean, Ubisoft pulled out, and then they were like, yeah, it's, it's done. Uh-oh. Oh shit! No. Next. Oh my god! Chat room. My buttons are all mixed up with dredge. The sensitivity's all fucked up on the new on the controller, on the controller, on the controller. I can't do this. Mate, I can't do this. Oh god, I'm freaking out, man. I need the gyro. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a lot of dogs here. Sorry. That might have been a waste. I think that was a waste. I think that was a waste.
Chat, we got a problem here. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. Gold bar. Would restarting help the gyro? I'm gonna try it when I get to a save point. Change the settings if it's bad. This seems a little slow. Oh, you know what? It's because of the new controller settings. That's why. It's because this is supposed to be with gyro. Alright, I'm I'm going to a save point, like, now, so we can fix that. Because that, that, no wonder I was shooting so fucking slowly. Not judging, but genuinely asking, is this still his first playthrough? Okay, yes, it, it is my first playthrough of this, of the remake. Um, I was at PAX when the game came out. I've only had a chance to play it one time since I got back. Yes, this is my first time playing. I know other people have played this game and beat it in like two, one day, two days. But uh, that that's, yeah, that has not happened for me. I didn't get the golden egg, but I need to restart because my controls are fucked. I played- yes, I played the original Resident Evil 4 maybe all the way through six or seven times, something like that. Don't ban me, I just got here. Why are you afraid of getting banned, chat member? God, you must have some bad experiences on streams. You just literally asked a question. Well, I'm not gonna ban you, I'm gonna mod you. <laughs> Modding is even worse, because then you have more work to do. And then you get lots of, um... Lots of people sneering. You like when people sneer at you? Truly, there is no worse punishment than being modded in a chat room on Twitch. Anyway, E3 is gone. And I don't think... I, I would have been much more upset about it like five years ago, but I feel like I don't mind as much anymore. <clears throat> gyro works, everybody. Gyro works. And controller is good. I think it's the Switch controller just being weird. Because I had that same issue with Ocarina of Time 3D, and I had some issues with Elden Ring, too. Um, it mostly worked for Elden Ring, but usually when I first started the game, I had issues. <sighs> Again, I played Dredge earlier, so now all of my controls in my head are just... Completely different. Ugh. So we have the large cave. We've got mural cave. Um, this is the church key. Uh, th there's an island that has uh, maybe that one, and then there's a fish, so we're gonna... We're gonna go back out to the lake, and we're gonna get the golden egg and the fish.
Also, it looks like they did fix the rain. I, I know it probably gets heavy later on, or heavier, but... It looks very, um, light at the moment and not distracting and terrible. Brown chicken egg. Gold chicken egg. This is uh, this is where I would be. I'd be hanging out on Chicken Island with just chilling with the chickens. And like you have infinite McNuggets forever. What a, what a timeline we live in, where a Resident Evil 4 remake is playable and is good. Like, what, what sense does that make? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Was that Dead Space and Metroid Prime 2? I know. How about this? Metroid Dread came out like a year and a half ago, and it was awesome. I mean, listen. I often nihilistically joke that everything else is shit. But, boy, there's some great video games. I'm also looking forward to um, Dead Space Remake for Halloween this year. I'm saving that one, but I'm also very excited for it. What happened? What happened? Oh. Controller just stopped working for a second. That, I'm sure that won't get me killed. Not using the Pro Controller anymore. 8-bit though. Wait, where, where have I gone? Oh, I'm here. Okay. Why do you not use Xbox controllers? Uh, they broke. I don't have an Xbox One, and my Xbox controller, uh, just stopped working. How did they break? I don't know. They just stopped working. I didn't throw it. No, I didn't throw it. Oh, this is... Okay, hang on. Uh, do we want to do this? You know what? <sighs> My inventory is probably... I swear, it's like I'm playing dredge again because I have to worry about, like, inventory space and fish. Current Xbox controllers don't have gyro. All your controllers break except for the j damn Joy-Cons. Isn't that some shit? That that chat member is absolutely right? I mean, listen, my Pro Controller... ...seems okay. It just doesn't work good with PC games all the time, and Gyro doesn't work with it. But, on the Switch, it seems okay. I thought that was a square watermelon. Chat, I thought those were square watermelons. Oh! The gyro stopped again, chat! Yeah! Yeah! The gyro stopped again! Oh! Uh. Yeah, a cup of coffee in the big time, hmm?
cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back to Pro Controller. And we're going to try it again. Cup of coffee. Dude, I'm using a USB-C cable right now, David. <laughs> I don't know why I called you David, but David. Um, it's a good cable. It seems like a good cable to me. Use Bluetooth. I haven't had issues. I haven't figured out how to... Yeah, gyro's not working here either. I haven't figured out how to pro control Bluetooth with the PC. Alright, uh, chat, I'm sorry for, uh, the, the delay here and for everything. Yeah, look at that, it just turned off. That's interesting, I'm, I'm looking at it right now and it just, it just, the gyro just turned itself off. Oh great, now the gyro, oh, is this normal? chat the only thing that works now is gyro It's working. What you buying? I say. I'll buy almost anything. Knowing that it won't. I'm selling these, right? Perfect. Yeah. You're a real professional. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine. A job well done deserves payment in kind. Will that be all then? Talk about Minecraft one block a day account. I'd like to know how you got on it. The person just used, uh, emailed me. That's it. <clears throat> no, really, that's it. A weapon to suit your specific needs. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to get better shotguns, but I want to increase reload speed on this one. Got us come back anytime. Still works. Well, now I have a, a fish. Oh, I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, eat the fish raw, Leon. I think the boat is the common denominator. Gyro dies after the boat. That makes no sense, but I... I think... Uh, y yeah, I've seen that pattern too. Still have gyro. Oh, 
Oh boy, what, what a mess. Anyway, here's some stalagmites and stalactites. Now remember, chat, what I told you. How do you differentiate between stalagmites and stalactites? That's right. That's right, Luigi! Stalactites are like titties! T-I-T! -I -T. Stalagmites go up! And what do titties do, Luigi? Oh, Mario, they hang? That's right, Luigi! Especially as you get older! Wow, oh, fuck! Oh man, I took the full brunt of that. Not bad, right? What are they even doing in this cave? Oh my god. I didn't even see him. What fuck? Serious. Quick, Leon, eat eggs. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. I told you I'd shoot! Why didn't you believe it? This reminds me of the Goonies movie. Yeah, they definitely balanced the Red Nine out a bit. No! Oh, okay, good. It's still good, and it still has a good, like, gun feel to it, but it's not very accurate. So, I mean, that's also the laser sight from original RE4. But I kind of like that it has its weaknesses and strengths because I'll be honest like upgrading the red 9 in original Resident Evil 4 it's like you don't even really need to use much else oh the stock would help yeah forgot about that it's accurate it just has major kickback and low fire rate well I still love it Nice work. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, friend, friend, friend.
Nice. What kind of door is this? Oh, okay, we got a puzzle. This is a Resident Evil series staple. Important item that you don't want the protagonist to get, hide it behind a puzzle. I guess we kind of do that in real life with, like, combination locks. Except, usually there's no hint. I feel like the, the hints that are lying around are just the people who, like, set the, uh, traps. Like, it's- it's their way of... ...reminding themselves in case they forget. Um... Okay, well... I still don't exactly know... I still don't 100% know how I'm gonna... ...do that, but let's take a look. The natural puzzle solvers. Burglars. <laughs> yep. Purple. Burglar. Alarm. Purple. Burglar. Someone said, look at the yellow paint on walls. I should- you know what? I really should be paying more attention to yellow paint. So, chat. Oh, yeah, here's one. Chat, my lower back kind of hurts because last week when I was transporting my vinyl records, I lifted the box like an asshole and I hurt my lower back. It wasn't too bad, but I feel, I feel the pain a little now. It's like 10% or 5% as much. And I'm like, did I, is this for life now? Of course, that's just hypochondriac Vinny speaking, but you, you know. You know how it is. Okay, so it's... It looks like an egg and kind of half an hourglass. Right. So egg, half hourglass. Then you have this one that looks like uh, biohazard almost, but half not full biohazard. And we don't know where the other one is. Oh. And uh, double. Fish, maybe? Double fish? Double... Double fish. We'll just call it that. Was this the one? Yeah. Oh, shit, it's Sataniel. What's that doing in there? so dramatic, these cultists. My god. Have you ever considered playing Psychonauts? I have, many years ago. I haven't played the sequel, but I played... I played the original, and I, I liked it. It's good. Good platformer. What is your opinion on E3? Uh... You have to imagine that I've been asked about E3 already. And... I guess, uh... Really all I can say is, good, fuck it, I hate it. Oh, there's a- there's a blue velvet blue! 
over there. Hmm. No, it, I mean, it was getting... It, it was already pretty bad at times, and I'll miss that... Listen, to add to what I said before, I will miss the time of year where we could look forward to one centralized event. My favorite E3 memories are, of course, like Twilight Princess announcement, Smash Brothers Melee. Back in the day, I was taking my SATs for high school, like for college, and uh, I didn't care about those because they were showing the Smash Brothers Melee footage on the internet, and I had to download it for like a half hour just to see the, the small video. I mean, listen, for maximum uncomfortability and awfulness, we still have the Game Awards. And I'm sure there's going to be more Nintendo Directs. Summer Games Fest. There's plenty of other events that are going to, you know, be around. But Nintendo started this trend of you can just kind of put all your news into an internet presentation. Uh, presentation? Presentration, what? Penetration? So I'll miss, again, I'll miss the time of year. I think they're still going to be doing summer, like, announcements. I don't think that's going to stop. Vinny, are you going to play Advance Wars? Yeah, I'll probably play it. I don't know if I'm going to end up finishing it or streaming a ton of it, but I'll, I'll probably end up playing it. I, I like Advance Wars. I just honestly am not... I don't know, there's a part of me that doesn't want to replay 1 and 2 again. I kind of was hoping for a new one. And for people complaining about the art style, I hear you. To a degree, I also understand. I don't think it looks terrible. I was just hoping for new units and new things in the game. I guess it'll probably be more than a one-off, but I don't think I'll end up playing it all the way through the whole, like, campaign. Um, I love Advance Wars. There's a Kickstarter for... No good. There's right now, chat, a Kickstarter for a game that looks like Advance Wars. It's an indie game. Art style is very similar. And... I think it's a Kickstarter, at least. Um, and it's not... <laughs> Arrow Kickstarter. What? It's not Wargroove 2. It's a different one. And they're going more Advance Wars than... Like, they're actually making a new Advance Wars game, basically. It looks almost the exact sta uh, same thing. Wargroove, I'm not as into. Dame. I'm misspeaking. I'm really Rich Evansing it tonight, chat. Um, but yeah, I don't even remember the name of the game that I saw. But it looked exactly the same. The same. John St John Samos. Okay, so we've got three squiggle. Alright, we know we've got three squiggle. Where, where'd the ladder go, chat? Three squiggle. Oh, wow. In my quest to avoid three squiggle again, I avoided the ladder. So three squiggle. We got... I don't know if th those might be separate. So we'll just call that one 13. And this one is... Triohazard. Three squiggle. This one. And we need something that looks like a 13. Mental. No, but seriously, chat. Does anyone know the name of that game I'm talking about? Like... The Advance Wars clone? Warside? Yep. 
Yeah. It is Warside. I need to show you this. This actually, I, listen, I'm going to say it. I'm kind of more excited for this than I am the, the new Advance Wars. And I didn't think I would say something like that. But I feel like maybe N Nintendo might... They might have something to say about this. Oh, it's so loud. Okay. I mean, listen, even Wargroove I was really excited about, but something didn't work for me. I think it was the, the enemy AI killed it for me a little bit and how slow some of the combat was. But... Yeah, this... And there's new types of tanks. There's new types of units. Uh, there's medic units. So it's it looks like... And this is not an advertisement. This is just an Advance Wars fan wanting more of the classic Advance Wars. I'm going to get the new one more than likely. I may I may even see Wargroove 2 and give it a shot. But can Nintendo sue for this? I mean, it's all original assets. It's just similar. Like, really similar. Kind of too similar, maybe, but... It's not infringing on the IP. That's what I thought. You can sue for mechanics sometimes. Well, hopefully Nintendo doesn't, because... I think a world can exist... with all of this stuff. Like, it's nice that Nintendo has brought back Advance Wars, which is one of my favorite series of theirs. This is one of those cases where I'm usually down for a remake, and yet... I don't know, it, it's not really blowing me away. It just looks cool. So, that seems cool for new units, like a whole new campaign. I hope it's good. Uh... Did you hear about Dark and Darker? There's apparently some new developments that I'm unaware of, so I don't really want to talk about it until I, like, know the full story. I just know what happened with Nexon, and how... Originally, it was like... You know, you're just doing a first-person game that is dark and dungeons with bricks. But it seems like there may be more to it than that, and I have no idea what that means entirely. So... Oh, that was easy. Braved Idol. Don't tell Jerma. What do you mean? What happened with Jerma? That took Jerma like 20 minutes. Wait, what? It, it, you just pressed the button three times. It took Jerma literal hours? We went from 20 minutes to hours. Well, that'll think... Chat will think twice, rather, about calling me a bad gamer now. Okay, so we got, uh, over here. Church key, I think, is where I have to go next. You just got lucky? No, no, no. Gamer.
Vinny is older than Germa by a few months. I am, yeah. It's true, I'm the elder. <laughs> yeah. Condor one to roost. I found the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get baby Eagle. Copy that. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. Wait, this is... No, I don't want to be here. Chat, you know what I want? I want to get all the treasure. That's what I want to do. So... It looks like... I don't even know what this means. I guess that's on a... Different floor. Let's see. So that's the way shrine. Um... Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want! Yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna... I wanna... Get the locked treasure. Did someone just say I scared them by doing that? What, because it's me singing Spice Girls, or because I just surprised you with the, the volume of the bit? I, to be fair, I'm actually kind of afraid of myself that I just did some Spice Girls live on stream, so... You know what? Fair enough, chat member. You, you got me. I'm quaking in my boots. Stranger, welcome. Where would it? What can I do you for? Thank you. A deal well struck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, a rocket launcher already. All my wares are in tip top shape, I assure you. We've been saving that one for the right customer. Is new. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. There Fully upgraded Red Nine As until we get the stock. Wished. TMP. Oh, my back is killing me. Yeah, you me too. Haven't been kind to us. Anything else I might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering what if. Am I right? Where's the side quests anyway? Robber, destroy the medallions. Um. So here they are. Uh, it looks like I got them. Collect the treasures, finish the quests. Uh, do you want to collect the dolls? Maybe. Is there a doll in this cave somewhere? Someone mentioned it. I forgot to save, by the way. You can throw an egg at him? Maybe! So, chat, yeah, where is that? I'm gonna ask you 
Um, it's in here somewhere. Hear it. Jeez, Leon, okay. I get it, you're angry. Vinny, did you know that the Bubsy creator died? I'm aware of it. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about that. I, I mean, rest in peace, Bubsy creator. <laughs> if that's the comment you were looking for, I, I hope that brings you some peace. You're supposed to feel sad. It's a very sad day. Bubsy was my first favorite cat, and uh, he'll forever be missed. And uh, no, I'm kidding. Felix the cat was my first favorite cat, but Bubsy will be missed, even though Bubsy had a pretty terrible game. And it's always sad when someone who creates a thing that we all love uh, is gone, that some of us love is gone. And. I, I hope, uh, I hope he gets to go to a good after a death place. That, that would be nice. Did I do a good job, chat? I don't even know what I'm saying. I tried. I did my best. I don't, I don't know. I mean, chat does this to me. Sometimes they ask me what I think of when a a person passes away, and it's always very sad, but I don't know what to say if I don't know the person very well. I just, alright, they made Bubsy. I don't really have a whole lot more than that, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. It's, uh, GIF or JIF, it's uh, good GIF. What, you, what is your opinion on rust cock? Well, that's a holiday, as we all know. That's the Beetlejuice Rusty Cock Day. What day is Beetlejuice Rusty Cock Day, chat? I'm getting a lot of I don't even know what day it is. I'm asking chat. I'm not like this isn't a quiz. This is an actual like a real question. Another doll at the forest altar. Okay. There we go. Got some treasure. 3 years ago my beloved daughter passed away shortly after giving birth to a son. Since then, the boy has grown considerably. He is a very curious child, and has a true thirst for knowledge, and he even tries to follow after me when I go out hunting. I can't take my eyes off him for a second. Whenever we walk in the forest, he always asks me to tell stories. He is very fond of Don Quixote. Although he is still small, the boy is smart and observant beyond his years. If he weren't stuck here, he might have become a scholar. I was a careless fool. Could have sworn I shot clean through the wolf's head, and yet it lunged at me. I was able to make it back to the cabin, but my wound is swollen and discolored. I cannot bear seeing the boy's worried eyes. 
My body moves on its own and I can hear voices inside my head. Am I going mad? I can't die now and leave the boy behind. Dear God, please protect him. There's a doll on the collapsed house on the island. September 26th is Beetlejuice Rusty Cock Day, confirmed. There are a lot of new chat members that don't know about this holiday, but it's a very important holiday. The only way you can fully know its, like, magnitude, its sheer size, is if you continue to watch the stream every day until the day arrives. You don't stream every day. Alright, let's not get technical. Hey, chat room, uh, did I get this one? Is this where- th there's a chat member that said there was one over here. I is that- Oh, I hear it, I hear it. Boy, these things are really well hidden. This one's a tough one to hear because the the sound of the engine. Wait, unless that is the sound of the engine. The secret area where you fought the dogs and dead woman from the opening. Someone said people will realize OG is better with HD mods. Well, chat member. That's a cool... Uh, all of us will realize one day. However, I'm gonna say that... I enjoyed the original too. And I haven't finished this yet. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. But I think people can choose whether or not they like this better. And I think... Even if chat member, because I know there's going to be people salty about any remake. That's just kind of how things are. Either they're salty or they just don't like it, and that's fine. However, the quality of this has been very high, and I'm happy that both exist. Chances are I'll return to the original at some point in my life, too. I'm not just going to only play this one. I don't see a doll here, chat. Was this lies? Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. Do you think they'll make remakes of remakes one day? Yeah, absolutely. Forest Shrine. Forest... Forest Shrine. I don't know what that means. Un Forestero. 
I know this isn't the most progress, but I want to go and get that way shrine that I missed. You've been to the forest shrine. I missed the doll, though. Where you got swarmed by dogs. Oh, it's over there? Oh, I thought it was that tiny little island. But you know what's funny? There were chat members saying that it was on that island. So... Are there oh, chat members that, welcome. like... Lied? On... Purpose? It... No. No. Vinny, do you still enjoy streaming? I'll tell you what. I don't have to do it. I'll stop the stream right now. No, I love it. That's why I still do it. In regards to, like, financial security, I'm already doing okay. And YouTube is actually kind of surpassed Twitch in some ways. Not entirely, but just because Twitch... <sighs> Not always, and it's still very dependent, and a lot of my videos get taken down. But let's just say this. If I just made pre-recorded videos with no chat, I would do fine. And I'd be able to just kind of live my life. Which I'm really grateful for. So, I kind of don't have to stream. I just really love it. Also, streaming three days a week has made me enjoy streaming even more. In some ways. Because I actually look forward to it. Someone said, I think your audience would probably shrink if that was the case. Sure. But if I'm happier doing that, and making less money, that's a life worth living. It just so happens that I really enjoy what I'm doing here. I mean, my audience shrunk since I'm only streaming a couple days a week. But I'm okay with that, too. I'm listening for it. The ladder at the north side of this area. Well, the pre-recorded stuff has been good because it's allowed me to check out a million different games. And it's allowed me to take some time for myself and still have stuff to upload and still feel like I've accomplished something. I know that there are people that aren't as into the pre-recorded, and then there are some people that like it even more. But, I mean, you know, again, subjective opinions... Objective opinions, though, are the best opinions. But I do feel like uh, me doing both has been a lot of fun. Depending on what you pre record. Well, yeah, depending on what I stream, too. I'll give you an example. If I play a game like Against the Storm, which is a great game. If I were to stream that, you know I wouldn't get high viewer numbers. And it might not be the most exciting game for the stream. But if I pre-record it, there's like people that are really into that game the way I am. And they can just choose to watch it if they want. I really don't see this thing. I hear it. Oh.
one left that you missed, is that at the beginning? You should buy the stock for that gun. Not available yet. Lakeside Settlement? Um, so what's Lakeside Settlement? I guess it would be listed, let's see. Um, and again, oh, this is Lakeside, this is Lakeside Settlement. Well, the farm is here. Um... One of the houses up on the roof. Do you think they're gonna you're gonna do more Among Us VR at any point? They're really fun. I think I know they're doing a new level, and when that comes out, I'll definitely try to grab some tuber friends. That's what I call them. Well, Ross has been doing a whole lot more art stuff lately. I'm not really much of an artist. I'm sure he'll end up, like, joining one of the Among Us's at some point. But, like, the stuff that he's been doing has been much more art-focused. Oh, that's blocked. Shit. It's that building in the cave on the way back. Did anyone recognize you when you did the Among Us video? I think there might have been one person. But I don't remember. Uh, maybe not. Too far? Go back, we heard it, it's the house. Wait, are you serious? It's Lakeside Settlement? It actually is here? One guy said Vinny, and you said nah. Oh, okay, so that did happen. What are you thinking about this game, Vinny? I'm enjoying it so far. I'm being kind of a completionist at the moment, which is slowing down the pace of the game tremendously, but I'm just enjoying the atmosphere and existing in the world, and I have no problem with that right this second. Beetle. The fuck is this? Twilight Princess? Why was there a pissed? Why are there bullets in a bird nest? Is this a Smashing Pumpkin song? Bullets in a bird nest? The world is a vampire. Oh, unless it was a magpie. That would make sense.
I just, I've learned what that Rat in a Cage song was about, actually. <laughs> it was about the demand of, of, like, the label trying to get him to do, like, the grunge, angry grunge man thing. I guess I never really thought about it. Well, he did. Yeah, he did do it. I mean, do the uh, listen. Uh, I think he made the right choice because he also got to do other stuff too. My theory is do one for you, one for them. Um, okay, chat, we did it. We finally did it, I think. Now we can go to the church. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It is Friday once again. In just one hour. Did you go to the secret cave? I I'm assuming I did. I I'm, ass I'm assuming I did. If you can believe it. Oh, this doesn't take you to the church, does it? God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We're. Thank you very much. I'm good now, chat. I, I had a brief moment of psychosis, but I think I've... I think I've uh, recovered from it, and now we can make progress for real. So I'm glad today was like a... It is gonna be like a four-hour session. I know what happens here. I know what happens here. This is Ogre 4. It is. Or the, uh, the Lord of the Rings cave troll, depending on your perspective. thing to say, Leon. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I don't think I hit that thing one time. Yeah! Did you 
Did you see what they did? They gave it like an action pose. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> That'll do it. Oh, you just, you just done pissed me and the dog off. Shoot you in your ass. To that church. That feel that feels a little easier than the original, maybe. Um, also, was that that line wasn't in original Re Resident Evil Four, right? Ogre Four. Thanks, bud. But it, you know what? It fits. I will say it fits. Leon being a goofy freak. You got worms too? I mean, Leon does currently have worms swimming around in his eyeballs. Hole in quarry wall? Really? Even Leon is pissed if we had to go all the way back here. Oh yeah, I did miss this. Rearing log, six months. Its teeth have only just come through, but it shoves everything within reach into its mouth. It can't walk yet, but it swallowed a dog whole. Uh, nine months. It already towers over me, but I, it can't keep growing. The town hall can no longer contain it. Ten months. It keeps growing even after moving to the quarry. It can devour a whole cow in three days. Thirteen months. It can swing our largest pickaxe as if it were a twig. One of the men in the village was almost eaten today, too. It's not getting enough food. Seventeen months. There are only a few cows left now. At this rate, the whole village will starve. We summoned help from the castle, and had them put the beast to sleep with an incantation. Hopefully it won't wake for a long time. Ugh. Chat question, how are the frame rates for you? Because for me, they're like perfect. But are you you're getting pretty solid, consistently smooth? All right. Because sometimes there's a disconnect between X Split and what I see. For example, <clears throat> Sons of the Forest looks worse in video form than it does when I stream it.
that happens sometimes. Depends on if the game is optimized well, I think. Jeez. It's even more difficult than the ogre. It's a little dark, too. I mean, I set the brightness to the appropriate level. Bada bing, bada boom, eat a dick, fuck you. Ah! What is that, chat? What is that? Is that so that's something I said, right? But why Why are you bringing it up now? Oh, oh, right. Resident Evil 4 randomized. I was fighting that particular dog. Got it. Okay. I see. I'm here to help. Missing blue. So a little different than the original version of that puzzle. Slightly. But pretty similar. Ashley, you in there? That also took Germa two years? Oh no. Ashley. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Mouse is in the house. My name's Leon. I'm here in the president's quarters and... That one, well. It's dangerous outside. You need to listen to me. What is that? Over there? Uh, just some cult. Pursue them. <laughs> the last lambs are escaping. Persecute them. I don't know if the dude... 
like, kind of channeling Brando on a few lines. Salvation. Definitely channeling my tinnitus. Oh. Are you an assassin? Definitely not the Nord. Hello, Leon Kennedy. We're wondering if you would like to join our cult. It's definitely not a multi-level marketing scheme. Your father trusts me. Thank you, Pat, you for the raid. I appreciate exactly as always. I'm gonna get you home safe. You house proud town mouse. Haha. -ha. Sherrod, you are Sigma Gamma Sigma Gamma Phi. Oh, it's a uh thing. I forget. Seriously? A uh sorority. I thought it said Sigma Gamer. Get the letter. For a second. All right, Ashley, I need you to use your ears to flap us out the window to safety like a hang glider. You think you can do that? Of course, Leon! A Nord Nort? Oh, like my alien Nort? Norts? Earth belongs to the Norts. Resistance is futile. Oh, I think they heard the gunshot. Oh, well, never mind that. No way. It's okay, I've got you. Trust me. I don't know, I've just met you three minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> nice life and outfit. Thanks. All right. Bruce. Secure baby eagle. Copy that. Is she okay? Copy that Perfect. every time. Well done, Condor One. I'll dispatch a chopper ASAP. I'm sending you the coordinates for the extraction point. Make your way there, and don't let anything happen to baby eagle. Copy that. Hurry. The weather is getting worse. S did, did she say right scurry? Because you know mice tend to scurry. Like I said, it's dangerous. Stay close. Okay. Oh man, I was hoping he would punch it until it broke. 
And then I remembered he's not Chris Redfield. <laughs> or that's what we're calling the commands. And people were worried that this game was sexless. It's all right. Hey. Come on. Okay. Got a key here. I'm gonna use it. Yellow diamond. All right. That boulder punching asshole, Chris. I don't think they're people anymore. I think they got Terminal 7. It's bad, Ashley. True chat, you gotta press the Warn Ashley button every time you throw a grenade in this new remake. That sucks. Oh yes! Oh! Spine compression! Mighty boot! Let's go. No problem. I want to show Ashley what Leon is capable of. Oh, never mind. Oops. <laughs> Oops! This. You're serious. Whew. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, just check in to see what treasures are. There's Village Square treasure. Pretty much got everything else, I think. And then, then there's the one on the way to the helicopter, so... Good aim. Wow. Cover your ears, Ashley. You don't want hearing damage. Because, I mean... I am firing a pistol right next to your head. Chat, whenever I see... There's a quest here. I did the... Gravestones. If that's what you're talking about. Unless there's something else. I... Okay. I was gonna say, whenever I see in a movie, like, a pistol go off right next to someone's face, I immediately have, like, a visceral reaction to it, because I'm like, that's it, you're deaf now. 
Congratulations, you now have, like, permanent hearing damage and tinnitus. She does cover her ears. No, 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 I don't mean in this game. I was just messing around, but I mean, like, in movies in general. Like, it, it's something I can't help but notice now, and I, I hate it. <laughs> I have something I think you like. Welcome. What can I interest you in? <laughs> A deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. A deal well struck. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to sell the key unless I could use it. Anything or unless I couldn't use it anymore, rather. Three colors, trio. Oh. Oh, different one. Well, I'm kind of fucking rich now, chat. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. See how that feels, mate. A fellow like yourself should notice the difference right away. There you are. Give that the care of God. Don't get yourself okay. killed I'm now. I'm going to save some money, potentially for later. Someone needs to get rid of the wild dog near the village chief's manor. Okay. Hey, can we... Can we take a break? Sorry, we need to keep moving. Got it. No. When RE5 remake happens, are you going to hype up the boulder punching moment? We don't need a Resident Evil 5 remake. We, we really, really don't. Like I said, Code Veronica. Or just a new game is fine, too. I'm sure they are working on new games as well. The series has, has been doing rather well for them. I, I don't think they're going to be stopping the new gamer stuff anytime soon. I just feel like when it comes to remakes... Five is, is just too recent. And it's also a little divisive. Then again, I thought this was too recent. Close. Okay. 
Fantastic. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks. This way. I mean, it definitely... Uh, the, you know, two, it's only two commands. It's like, get close to Leon or get away from Leon. Open it from the other side. If it's smart, I think it's good. It just simplifies things a little bit. Give cheese or pet. <laughs> That's it. Just two commands. That's it. In OG, it was two commands, too. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait! Follow me! Wait! Follow me! Ashley, get in the dumpster. Yeah, I mean... Get in the dumpster. Uh, is this dog in the home of the village chief? Hmm. Let's see. It'll be on the side. All right, Ashley, we're jumping out another window. Come on. Hang on. What is this place? Ow! Oh, garlic chat member will be pleased. All the men cheered when they heard the boat as it raced across the surface of the water. That magnificent oil will surely help us catch fish easier than ever before. The ironworks was only built a year ago, but it has already merged well with the, new with the village. Our sickles and knives shine like never before. The two fish we got from the deal will, um, will eat almost anything and are breeding well. The fish farm in the swamp is also making excellent progress. During the day, I teach literacy and mathematics to the, ch to the children. Every evening, I dine with a single family to hear their grievances and recent gossip, all under the roof of this home we built. Since I opened the village up to the outside, we have prospered, and the people are happier. Smiles have even started to appear on their faces. A strange group of black-robed people descended upon the village from the castle and raised an ominous flag with a spider-like insignia upon it. After preaching about salvation and forgiveness, they injected us with something they will claim they claim will cure us of madness. Can they be trusted? Uh were they mad? Like, I, I don't know if they were mad or anything, but this dude could have been like, uh, how about no? The Elder entrusted the village to me today. He told me I can learn my duties as I go. I will start by keeping a record of the village. There are still many words I cannot write. But the Elder encourages me. I will do my best. There is a young boy who lives in the cabin by the lake with his grandfather. It seems that his mother has was called to heaven upon his ver birth. Birth? His grandfather doesn't talk much, but the lad is very bright and spirited. He told me a story about a knight who rides a donkey again in, like today. Don Quixote? The boy's grandfather has fallen ill and his condition worsens every day. The boy worries terribly about him. There are murmurs of a madness among the villagers. Oh, there are murmurs. 
As I took my leave, the old man pulled me aside and said, If anything happens, you know what to do. I could only nod in response. It was a terrible night. Everyone stood around the cabin and watched as it burned to the ground. Burned to the ground? The boy looked on without saying a word. Even as dawn broke, he didn't move a muscle. The next day, he was gone. Ghastly. It's like you see 1980-something, or 1991, and it looks like it's something from 1856. Hey, Leon, why did you shoot that toy? Uh... There's some note I read. What? Yeah, there was some note in the village about shooting the toys. Uh... Leon, do you have the madness? Leon, what are, what are are you okay, Leon? Leon, what's happening? Oh, I'm just uh, singing along to my favorite band, Disturbed. Their record just came out. What year does this take place? I think it's it lines up. I think it lines up. Yeah, na 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 na. No, it's probably actually it kind of lines up. It's been a couple years since the Disturbed record was out, though. Was released. The sickness came out in 2000, and if this was like 2004, 2005, then it would probably be like another disturbed record. That's my favorite disturbed song where it goes. What? Oh. <laughs> I see. I see and hear dog now. I just, there was the egg. Chat was like, get the egg, and yet, for some reason, it wouldn't let me pick up the egg. I think I have to crouch next to it. Oh, it's just a matter of distance. Do you think Leon would be into new metal? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I. How old is Leon here, chat? In two thousand four. He's twenty eight. Like twenty six. I think he was into Nirvana. So, if he's like 26 in 2004, what year was he born? Like, 82 or 78? I can't do math. <sighs> 78? Vinny, you're projecting hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, we don't have anything to go on. All I can do is... Assume based on the year he was born and the haircut. Uh. 
Ah, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! R.E. Wiki says he's of d Italian descent. Huh. How about that? R.E. Wiki says his real name is Vine Sauce. Huh. He loves Nirvana and Blade Runner? What? Wow, what a coincidence. He was also a guest on the Gray Leno show. No, he wasn't. No. That was me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, did, did a new cow drop? Listen, I might be projecting a little bit, but I think, um... I don't know, it all checks out. Listen, I'm all I'm trying to say is I don't think Leon listened to Disturbed. I think when New Metal happened, he was probably like, Nah, this ain't it. I Listen, I'm not projecting. This is just my headcanon. Wait, is that the same thing? Hmm. Interesting. He's just like me, for real, for real. F-R, F-R. He looks like an Incubus fan. <laughs> My favorite band is actually Oasis. You know what? I could see him listening to Oasis, though. I, I could see him listening to Elliot Smith. I, listen, I know I'm projecting at this point. I get it. I'm fine with it. I'm just saying... Just saying, he probably listened to a little bit of Elliot Smith, a little bit of Wonderwall. At the very least, he's heard of these bands. Turns out we're all wrong, and he just liked Biggie and Tupac. Uh, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Am I right, fellow chat members?
Why didn't Ashley want to go in there into this typewriter sa save room where the rain wasn't awful? Yeah, there's a treasure here too. Not bad, right? <laughs> oh man. They they haven't said more than like four sentences to each other, and Leon's like kicking dudes in the face and saying, Not bad, right? I, he's the best. Uh oh. Go right. Yeah, I'm fine. He won't be in a second. Oh god, Ashley. Next. Ashley had me worried for a second. You know what? I take it back. I think Leon's favorite band is Modest Mouse. stock yet but I have plenty of spinals There's some things money can't buy a deal well struck <laughs> good as new Take care of any it's how is it pronounced? Spin tinabulum. <laughs> Why do you pronounce spinal like that? I don't know. Spinel, spinel. Liza Minelli, spinelli, Sp spinal, spinel, spinel. Vinny the bracelet. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a bit. Maybe I'll get some better gems to slot into it. Oh, stone. Ah. Over here. Oh, this is happening now, huh? your missing senorita. Senorita has a name and it's Ashley. You are? Name's Luis. 
Encantado. Great. We all have names. Now then. No, no ballistics. We know. We know, Chet. I think I thought it was a silly, stupid, fun line, but whatever. Hide now. In that case, here, help me. Ashley, quick, over here. Go. Yeah. I thought that was Ashley getting pulped upstairs. Did I just shoot the axe? You got this. Oof. Ow. Out of the way. Come on, melee. Melee. God damn it, I don't have any boards. Ah, shit, wrong button. I went to parry and I fucked it up. Gonna use an egg. Jesus. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm gonna eat the snake, Chad. I'm gonna eat the snake. No! Fuck off! I wanna receive ammo. This, this is- this is insane. Someone said this took me over 10 tries on hardcore. You know, just for streaming purposes, I have to say I'm really pleased with my choice not to go hardcore. I really don't think I would have been able to handle it.
without getting frustrated. I'm good being a fake gamer in this case. No problems here. Whoa. Cramps. How did Lewis even get up here? God, no! God! Ah. Man, if I had more shotgun ammo, this would have gone a lot smoother. God, I just saw the evade button just now. Fuck. Fuck. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button instead of knifing. God! Yeah, I don't know about this one, chat. I don't know about this one. Rifle ammo. That's not helping. Oh my god! I was like, this close to getting shot, or to getting killed. I missed an emerald. It's fine. It's fine. I can't craft shotgun ammo because I am out of the crafting material for shotgun ammo. I forgot you had mine darts. I don't have the bolt thrower. Do you want to start explaining? The cough, the blood, is caused by something called a plaga. Okay. You saw those people, right? Would you have the same thing inside you? The same thing that made them like that? This, what you're experiencing, these symptoms, they're only the beginning. I don't want to become like them. You are, well, lucky. You see, at this early stage, the parasite, the plaga, it is possible to remove it with the surgical procedure. And all you need is some know-how. And oh, yeah, the right equipment. Wait, you too? No worries. See, I have a plan. But you're going to have to die.
Great, we're partners then. Hey, why are you? No time for any questions. The clock is ticking. Didn't he have a sharper chin in the original? Because it makes me feel better. Let's leave it at that. We'll contact you later. They gave him like almost like a, a Leno chin. Well, no, I'm just saying, it's a nice tin. Uh, it's nice, but I'm just saying, huh? I'm just pointing out the difference between some of the character look. You know, that and also the hair, too. Hey, got a smoke? I do, the kind you like. Uh, now where's the amber? Uh, it's not on me at the moment. And you really should be telling me what a good job I did. Busted my ass and managed to hide it right before I got caught. Which is why I'm still alive. The deal was we get you out of here when you deliver the amber. No amber, no protection, Luis. Uh, Such a stickler for details, Hyde. Okay then. Recast because previous VA was in a union. God damn it, Capcom. And I do Just say what's on your mind. Too. I'll tell you what's on my mind. I don't like the new voice as much as I like the old voice. I've only heard three lines, though. I see chat is like, Can you send by until it clears? not really into it either, but too dangerous. We're gonna get out of here and find someplace safe. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more to help. Don't worry about it. We'll swim home if we have to. Condor one out. I don't like go. the Zack syndrome from Final Fantasy Crisis Core. What's gonna happen to me? Right now. Let's just focus on getting out of here. You just get so used yeah. to a certain voice. Right. And then you hear a different one, and even if it's not bad, there's definitely going to be people, like, the Leon voice actor, I feel, got very close to Paul Mercier. But I also, I've only heard three lines, and I see people complaining in chat that it gets worse, and I'm like, okay, here we go. And yeah, I missed an emerald. It's not bad, it's just eh. Alright, well, I guess we'll find out later on in the game. Sometimes it's the, the acting itself, sometimes it's the tone of voice that can be a little bit different than what we expect. Like I said, Zack in Crisis Core. I don't think the actor did a bad job, I just think the tone of his voice was, like, a little weird, and it just made him sound froggy. I have something I think you like. Midnight Stroll. You ever see those nasty guys with the tentacles sprouting out of their heads? Not only are they dangerous, but they're a pain to kill, too. They do have a weakness, though. They absolutely hate bright lights like the sun. And that's why you won't see them out during the day. So, if you ever go for a walk during the night, it'd be wise to keep some flash grenades handy. Hell, I keep a couple on me at all times. You could make some yourself using the recipe I am selling, if you're interested. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What you see is what I've got. Red oh, nine stock, oh, motherfucker. Gun will look great with that. Should I sell the shotgun and get the riot gun? Why not try your hand at a new gun, stranger? My Come back any time. Okay.
Do you have the charm for weapon sale value? I don't believe I do. I think that was my last one. Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? Thank you. I'll buy it at a high price. Did I just sell my red nine? What you see is what I've got. Anything else I can help you with? <laughs> I can't buy it back. Oh wait, yes I can. You get some bang for your buck. I guarantee it. Uh No upgrades, huh? Where would it? What pleasant trap? This guy is a dummy. Chad, it was it was an accident. I don't know what happened. I might have clicked it by accident, and I didn't. I wasn't sure what I was doing there. Ugh. It's frightful. I'll tell you that much. The weather outside is frightful. Right now. Let's just focus on getting out of here. Yeah. Right. But yeah, that was that was a dumb mistake. Sorry to waste your time, chat. But you know what? I'm gonna do this new thing that I've been told to do, which is to be kind to myself. I I saw that on the on um on a bank. I went to the bank and it was like, be kind to yourself. Sign up for a new account and get a credit card with this amount of money that you can spend per month. And I said, you know what, bank? You're right. I will be kind to myself. And also, tell me what the APR is. So I'm going to apologize to me for wasting my own time. I love it when corporations are my friend. Welcome. I've got something new for you, mate. A deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ah, that there's a real boomstick. It will reduce your target gun will look great with that attached. Anything else? Don't get yourself killed now. Me? Never. Gungaga. Man, I was just able to make some shotgun shells earlier, and now I can't. Because I don't have the thing for it. The It looks like the crates have some random element to them. I think that was my last one. Welcome. Try that on for size. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> Our craftsmanship demands no less. Will that be all, then? Oh, my back is killing me. Come back any time. Stranger, I've got lumbago. Ah, you wouldn't understand, stranger. This is a direct order from Lord Sadler himself. Convert the area beyond this point into a defensive position so that no intruders may pass. I am willing to make any and all sacrifices for the sake of, a, of the righteous faith. My devout believers, build me an impregnable fortress and make sure any heathen foolish enough to trespass pays for their wicked sins in blood. We 
We've got company. Fuck, where did I miss all this stuff? Quietly. Got it. Okay. Oh, I'll try. Wow. This is a chat request, and I'm feeling generous. Stranger, it appears you've got Ligma. Huh? Ligma? Yeah, yeah. Ligma ball, stranger. Stealth gameplay is, is my high point in life. There you go. Jesus. Ashley. Yeah, kind of got fail cornered there. We've got company. Keep moving, but quietly. Got it. Okay. Oh, I'll try. The gyro aiming definitely helps, but I'm going to see if I can increase the, uh... You hurt? I'm good, thanks. The default aiming is, is not great. I think it's the... because this is like a control thing. Gyro would probably be mouse speed. Yeah. <clears throat> well, gyro I'm fine with. It's more the, like, control stick aiming as well as gyro. Yeah, this is this is gonna count as mouse. I think. Uh, well, hey Ashley, did you know that there's a mouse? But I, I wanted to um, increase the speed of the thumbstick to help with the gyro. It's not great. I don't know if I can fix that. I might have to go into the Steam settings for that. 
This doesn't... This is as fast as it goes. I thought that was Ashley making that noise for a second. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. I've been on fire thousands of times, it's fine. Nothing about this place is holy. Oh, it didn't save me going back for the re the stuff before, the resources and, and shotgun shells. Gotta get the resources. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Your mother should know. Your mother should know. No. Was that? How often do you check the Buru for art? I check on my own time once in a while. If you want me to see art, you can just tweet it at me. I think that's a more effective me method at this point in time. And if you don't use Shitter, which I understand because it's just getting worse and worse, um, I guess the other best way is uh, post it to the subreddit once in a while. I check that as well. Even if it makes you feel icky. I understand. But that is definitely an effective method. If you piss loud, post it below. Correct. What? Oh, fuck off. That was my main knife. Now I just have steak knives. Is quiet. Jinxed it. Come on, Vinny, do something. do the commentary, Vinny. Your chat members are waiting for riveting meme commentary. They want to know. 
you piss loud. Like what? Like it makes noise when it comes out? Or are you talking about like when when the when the pee hits the water in the toilet? Like, do people have like noisy piss? Like, does it whistle when it comes out of some people? It's what is it just like? Are you able to mimic Salazar's voice? Ah, Mr. Kennedy! Welcome to my castle of unending fetishes! Oh, did I say fetishes? I meant pizza! Oh, no, 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 no! This isn't a Mario! This is Salazar! That's what it sounds like when the pee comes, it goes like that, makes that noise. York's hottest club is Salazar's castle. We've got gimp people, bug people, religious people, and a cool minecart. <laughs> Ava Mendez, of course, is there. At the castle of, of infinite fetishes. Oh, well, you see, Mr. Kennedy, I had a bit of a George Washington fetish for a while. Also, doot doot -do 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 -do. Dude, dude. <laughs> it's a it's a little bit of a deep cut, but some chat members got it. You could have just crouched, Leon. Did you need to do a backflip? And the answer is yes. Sorry, didn't realize it was yours. I am flattered. But I'm a one lady type of guy. That's a fucking great line. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh god! God, it, oh, it's so fucking visceral. Yes, with a steak knife. Sorry, you're not my type. Out of, uh, out of what? Out of fucks to give? Jesus. That's how powerful Leon's kick is. Another knife broken. Oh God, Ashley, Jesus. God, Jesus. How did, how did she know? She heard it. She could. She heard the last shot clear as day. The or or yeah, the boss music stopped. Exactly that. <laughs> uh, what? Man, this game needs more of that. It needs a little bit of fourth wall breaking. It needs. Well, that happened. I need, like, Leon to say that it was a maze balls that he was able to de you know, deflect a chainsaw with his knife. My freaking knife! Uh... How'd that, how'd that happen? How'd I do that? Yeah, but no, the game's already pretty goofy, and it, it that's one of the things. Even if, if it doesn't hit that level, it's weird. There's a tonal thing that Resident Evil 4 does. It's serious. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of kill. But yet, it still manages to straddle the line of, of like, goofy. But it doesn't try to break the fourth wall, and it doesn't try to, like, wink too much. It does, but it doesn't. It's a kind of a difficult thing to explain because I never really felt like the original Resident Evil 4 was like... Again, this is a personal opinion, I'm sure. There are people that think Resident Evil 4 is the death of the Resident Evil series, so... Even if it is a universally acclaimed and beloved game, 
there are still some people that don't like what this game represents for the series and the direction it would later take. Um, but I f have always felt like it struck a really good balance between dark, serious, and also kind of, like, goofy. Like, action, schlock, glo goofy, gloofy. And this one feels like the remake, it feels like it's got about the same tone. It's got no cynical goofiness. I never heard that described as such before, but I, I think I kind of know what you mean, perhaps. Come on. Hang on. Are you hurt? No, I'm I'm okay. I guess. 80s action flick well feel. Right there. Yeah, Since there's a camp to it. First time running from creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be a compliment. Is it enjoyable, though? Oh, yeah. This and the original are supremely enjoyable. I know you've heard me, some of you have heard me say this like dozens of times by now, but original Resident Evil 4 is in my top 10 of all time. And this is a hard thing to get right for me. Like, I knew it would be good because Capcom's been on a roll lately. And Resident Evil 2 Remake was, I thought, like, amazing. That was amazing. And I thought even Village had some issues, but it actually kind of... It was weird, because Resident Evil Village had some stuff that I didn't love about it, but I appreciate what they were going for. And I actually really loved it overall. And it felt the most similar to Resident Evil 4 out of any other game in the series. Someone said Village was dog shit, and then someone said Village was great. Village ruled. That's... well, I mean, that's kind of... That's what that game did. I, I've seen... yeah, I've seen that range of opinions. Alright. Come on. Okay. I don't think it was dog shit. Whoa. You boulder punching asshole. Come, child. Ashley, run. Oh shit, I think he's doing um like a cage match with Batista in a week. Present for you. Hey, got something for you. God. Okay, Ashley, I know. It's, it's very scary. I know it's very scurry. Oh God. What are you doing? I don't know. I didn't see a way to cross the bridge. I, 
I guess I missed the yellow paint. Hurry. Don't worry about that. Oh, to the left. Oh, uh, yeah, I missed that entirely. I died to this part five times in a row, so better than me so far, says a chat member. I, yeah, I mean, I I just didn't see the the path. I just missed it. But, uh... I'm not gonna gauge chat members that I don't know for, uh, f to feel better about my own bad skill at video games, but that's all good. If we see him again, you run. What about you? I'll do my job. Also, um, in regards to Resident Evil 8 being dog shit, I just wanted to say, even if you don't like the game, I don't think it ever reaches the level of dog shit. That's my opinion. I think it's a very well-made video game. I just think that there's some stuff in it that doesn't... That clearly doesn't work for some people. But I thought it was... There's effort. Um, also, someone in chat earlier said something interesting. They wanted that man- the- the spooky section to be longer, I think, or the mansion. I guess the mansion was Lady Dimitrescu stuff, right? Domitresk, however you say it. That, I thought, could have been a little bit longer. I agree with that. But when it comes to the scary section, you know, the one I'm talking about? The- the one? What- what- what is that section, chat? What would you call that section? Beneviento, that to me was a really good memorable section, but I would never want to play that section again. I've said this before, like, Resident Evil 4, there's n almost no moment that I don't look forward to, aside from maybe some of the stuff at the end of the original. But, even if the, that part was disturbing, that's the part that upon, like, repeated playthroughs, I would probably want to skip through as quickly as possible, just because it would be so boring after knowing what you're gonna see. But, um, you know, different people have different opinions on Resident Evil, and what's scary, and what they want out of a horror game. But for me, I guess, the thing I liked the best about Resident Evil Village was the castle. And then I liked that machine area at the end, I thought that was cool. And the village itself was neat, that it was almost like a Metroidvania in some ways. Well, not really, but it's just you kept revisiting it. Oh, I forgot to repair the knife. That no, that's not fire. That's just too windy. Let's get up. Should have known you were one. 
Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, let's hope I don't run out of steak knives. out of steak knives. Shit, lobster claws. I think I just said clobster. Uh, lobster, lobster claws. What? Leon, you fucking dork. was bad timing. I... I was in between shots when he picked up the red barrels, and I, I missed the shot. Sucked. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Give that the care it deserves. Come back any time. Break that knife off in your fucking neck. No! Apparently you can jump off and do a knife hit. Aw, oh, put me back down here. Oh.
shit. You gods! You gods! That, that's good. That's good. Ah, oh, that's not so good. Oh my god! How you doing? What's, oh god, Leon glitched a little there. I'm just, just taking, the, I am just face tanking now. Chat, this is crazy. This, this is crazy. It could have been worse, but it was a little crazy. Leon! He just wanted to be a good mayor. And then um, Nord Sadler was like, Nah, eat some worms, dog. Give my regards to your god. Leon, hurry! Pick up his key? Did I miss something? No, right? I got the eye. You're welcome. Fire's bound to catch their attention. Let's keep moving. Uh, Leon, I'm not gonna turn into one of them, right? <laughs> like I know. I won't let that happen. I promise. Just gonna get a little plus placas down. curious to see how they did the castle segment. That's the truck. Well, there's nothing... Someone said there's a treasure on the truck. There's nothing here. Da 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 Ah, well, Alucard, welcome to the castle. You don't have to worry about being followed. My name is not Alucard. Alucard, you are my godson. Don't you mean devil son? Same thing. 
What the hell's an aluminum falcon anyway? That bit just collapsed in real time. I did, there was no end. There was no middle. There was no start. There was nothing. Well, I wanted to go home, but Ashley just had to see this castle first. Perfect, because I have a present I want to give you. Medicine that will help to suppress the progress of your problem. Where do we go? Let's see. Come to the courtyard inside of the castle. We can meet up there. Ciao. <clears throat> All right, Ashley. Luis just said. I got it. Guess we better get going. <laughs> in stock oh. welcome oh, i've got something new for you there's the black tail the stingray why not try your hand at a new gun stranger might save your life broken butterfly ruby's all thank you hmm Yeah. Yeah. As much as I like me a, an old-fashioned looking bolt-action rifle, I I'm gonna get the Stingray. I'll buy it at a high price. Where would it? What can I do you for? Leather increases the drop rate of red herbs. Oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us. Oh. A single-use ticket that grants access to a weapon's exclusive upgrade, regardless of the weapon's level. All kinds of trinkets in this clown's castle ain't doing him no good, are they? Will that be your comeback any time? Can I put the scope Welcome. in storage? <laughs> Suit you. With so many handguns available, choosing the right one for you can be tricky. Luckily for you, we've compiled a list of the special characteristics for four stellar choices. Punisher. This one has brilliant stability and penetration power. Laser sight can be mounted onto it too, making it a very versatile weapon. This gun delivers a lot of power. The red nine, that is, but kicks like a horse. Keep it reined in by attaching the stock. Blacktail, great gun, ideal for quick shooting. It's compact size. Also helps free up inventory space. Matilda, out of stock. It's a bit unremarkable on its own, but attaching the stock allows you to suppress the enemy with three round bursts. Self, stranger. Chad is recommending I sell the bolts just to free up some space. Welcome. I think that's a fine idea. Your valuables won't do you much good in the grave. At some point I'll use the bolt gun, but I don't think it, it, they're easy enough to make. It's fine. That cash in your piece gun turns it into pumpkins, mate. Take this for a rampage through the patch. <laughs> I I don't often use the TMP anyway in Resident Evil. Like I almost never buy the TMP in RE4. So it would kind of make sense that I'm not getting it here either. Vinny, do three gr- Ah, uh, it's okay. Um... There you are. Power? As you wish. 
We're gonna fire. Reload. We'll get one of each, and then I'll save up. To get an idea of your tastes, friend. Will that be all then? Come back any time. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasant travel. Oh, I have to attach the scope to this, too? Should sell mines for the space? Huh. Welcome. What can I interest you in? I guess on Ruby's some level, I kind of wanted to see what they did. But I guess there's always time, or a future playthrough. Luigi, you smell that? Gotta be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are gonna roll out the red carpet. Crossbows, huh? Something tells me they don't want to be friends. What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Things just keep getting better. <laughs> Finn, get the scope. Finn, get the scope. What if I just stick with... Uh, can I use this scope? Don't be scur. Keep your voice down. <laughs> oh, I love the atmosphere already. Volumetric looking lighting is nice. God, I don't like it at all. Thank God, Jesus. Oh. Oh, worm? It's a one-hit KO is what it is. Can't even play the organ. I was hoping for a full <laughs> organ mini game.
hear them. Oh god, they hear me. Shit. Holy. Oh, that's going to be said a lot, isn't it? Good rifle, though. <laughs> nice. Uh, they really are keeping some of the same beats in a way that I really in enjoy. Oh, they're making it easier now, chat. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's amazing. Yeah, it can be parried. I just fucked up the prompt. Almost got wamboed there. Game is definitely dark in spots. Now, I definitely also adjusted the brightness early on in a way that I thought was going to be like good. But yeah, there's there's some there's some moments where it's a little too hard to see what's happening. Ashley. Oh God. You okay? Yeah. Oh my god. Sorry, Ashley, you're right. <laughs> it's locked. 
Uh, you can kick it. Leon, I've seen you kick a dude through a wall. Seems like that was a temporary solution, but we'll see. Okay. Good eyesight. Like, Leon, what are you shooting at? Ah, uh, tiny blue medallion. Why? The merchant... The merchant has a side quest for me. Ashley. This could work. Ashley, it's a side quest. No, you don't understand. It's really cool. Merchant is so cute. Leon, there is no merchant. You've imagined it. It's the Plagas, Leon. It's all in your head, Leon. Leon, I'm burning to death. Uh, no. Hang on, I gotta shoot this blue medallion. <laughs> well, in original Resident Evil 4, one of the uh, ideas was that the, the Plagas made Leon like have powers. Apparently. Firing again. Leon, I think he's dead. like wow there's a lot of treasure oh, wow whoa dog I'm still missing two blue medallions
What? Oh, there we go. I see it. Vinny, heads up, Mario movie leaked, so be aware of that in the coming days. Wow, that sucks. Um, I'm not really sure what could be spoiled, but is it like 1080p? Just curious. How did it fucking leak? That's that's really uh, interesting. Luigi gives the entire sloppy to Bowser for 10 minutes. This place is lousy with Bowsers. Mostly full plot synopsis, private recordings from a test audience. I see. Well, I don't want to know, but I don't really think... I'm all that worried about spoilers for the Mario movie. But, I'm... You know, I'm gonna see it. I don't want to be spoiled. What I'm trying to say is, it sucks that it's out, because, you know... I guess, um, it would be nice to go in blind and not know what the movie's about, <laughs> about aside from Mario Brothers in Brooklyn and then the Mushroom Kingdom. But... It's not like Game of Thrones Season 8 spoilers, when we were like, no, those aren't real spoilers, because th that's terrible. And everyone was like, Ah, that's fake. It's fake spoil. And then, then we were like, oh no. Those were real? By the end of the movie, Luigi is gregnant. Oh man. You fuck. Why- why did you spoil? Oh, uh, Mario, I'm Gregante! Luigi. English. I'm, I mean, I'm gregarious, Mario. I'm, uh, you know... I'm a go-getter. Charlie Day said he wants a Luigi's Mansion movie. To which I would say, well, of course he does. That's more work. I think it will be fun, depending on how his take on Luigi is received. I kind of think he he embodies that energy. Fun, like, animated horror movie. But uh, Chris Pratt and Charlie Day, I think, both said that they want a Metroid movie. Even though I read the interview and Chris Pratt was just like, Yeah, that would be cool. So I don't know if he even knows what a Metroid is. But, maybe he does, I don't know. It's not, you know, it, it, he probably grew up with games the same way we did, in a, in a way. Uh, just because people are famous doesn't mean they didn't play video games. But it is weird, though, I, I'll be honest, like, when I was a kid, famous people did not play video games. Because it was for nerds and me only. I don't know where this medallion is, chat, but I'm gonna keep looking. And then... Like, these days, like, fucking Timothy Chalamet was making custom Xbox 360 controllers when he was a kid. I mean, he's still a kid, but when he was an even younger kid. Got it. He 
He's 27. Chat member in Christ. I thought he was like 19. <laughs> But I'll be honest, at my advanced age, which hopefully all of you will reach this age as well. Unless... You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna hit like 70, and then scientists are gonna find a way to like just stop aging. But you can only stop at the age that you are when you take the medicine. I'm gonna be like, ah, fuck! Took care of her a quest, did ya? Ha! <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. Well, look at you! Well, then, what can I do you for? You'll get some bang for your buck. I guarantee it. Should I get it? Buy that later? It's on sale now. It's Resident Evil, it's a Magnum, it's on sale. The merchant convinced me. It's about reloading. You'll know what I'm talking about. Ah, the thrill. Take this as well. Free of charge. Well then, happy cooking. Anything else I can help you with? Pleasant travel. Inventory space is getting a little scummy. Merchant, I want my money back. This gun is broken. <laughs> gun rhymes with fun. The voice actor for the merchant is pretty good, right? You know what? It grew on me. Yeah, I think there's... Okay. I'll always love the original merchant knowing that it's the same actor as Leon for example and I like the tone of the original merchant's voice oh got a lot of good things on sale strong welcome to my castle oh god such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance Mr. Kennedy <laughs> who the oh hell are you <laughs> Oh, please, call me Ramon, and allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me, now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, how novel. Like the veins. Nonetheless, you see. Girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then you will comply. Yes? Never. Stampy, you idiot! How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. Thank you, chat member, for making that connection. I wouldn't have. Yeah, this this is a different take on the character, but not one that I I don't stay close. Respect, on some level, even if it does look like Margaret Thatcher. Present for you. Whoop, click. Go right. Yeah, I'm fine. 
Yeah, it's like a crusty, veiny Salazar. I mean, the voice sounds more like what you'd expect someone from here to sound like, I guess, but... There is something about this voice that I just kind of like a little bit more. Mr. Kennedy. That's the problem with any remake, is there's always going to be comparisons. It's going to be real hard to get everything just right. Like Final Fantasy VII Remake, I thought a lot of the voice actors did a really good job. Thing is, the original Final Fantasy VII was not voice acted. Advent Children was. So there's... a little bit more leeway. Um, though the recasting of a lot of those roles, aside from Zack, I thought was actually really, really good. Cloud was great, Barrett was great, I, they were all really good, and the, the peripheral cast... Like, Badger from Breaking Bad as, um, Wedge. Nice loading zone. But yeah, like, a game that was not originally voice acted, you're gonna have more room to imagine the characters. In that way. But if you have a game that's already got I, I think Resident Evil 4 Original has some fun voice acting. Most of it is also really good. But it's just you get so used to years of hearing the characters in that voice. No good. Okay, I just want to double check. So... Alright, so Ashley opened up that area. There's a ladder up there. Leon's VA was legit talented. Oh, he was great. Yeah, he was great. I kind of wish they stuck with him. But this dude has got a similar thing, and he, he does sound like a younger Leon. Like in Resident Evil 2, I thought he did a good job. Same, same guy as 2, right? Like, they didn't recast in between... I'm pretty much completely fine with this take on Leon. Even if the face does look a little weird in a couple spots. Just because, again, you get so used to Leon looking a certain way. Even in his lower poly version. RE6 Leon was awful. I don't even remember Resident Evil 6 Leon, other than he had a little bit of stubble. The thing I remember most about Resident Evil 6 is... Um... Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. I remember being able to slide and butt scoot while knifing. I remember just insanity with shooting and, and hordes of zombies. I remember Wesker's son and some kind of drugs. And that that's about it. Current Leon VA has OG RE4 Leon as, as his favorite game of all time. You know, there's there are moments when this VA gets real close and actually like make some noises. That's no way to go. Where I'm like, oh, that sounds almost exactly like a Resident Evil 4 original noise. So yeah, he's channeling some of that apparently. I was awoken in the middle of the night once again. Those awful noises coming from the basement. The sounds of the nails, of nails clawing at the stone walls and writhing moan of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served the lord of the castle as the torturer, like his father and grandfather before him. 
It's one of the more unsightly legacies left by the Salazar family. Even among his family, he was special. He enjoyed his work wholeheartedly and had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. His ability soon attracted the master's interest. And when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It will break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, dispose of the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow, go far away, where the voice cannot reach my ears. How, n right. Now, how did that work out for you? Did you manage to get away? Are you comfortable in your new location? You know, it's like that thing of trying just make the show good. It would be really great if the last show of the season was good and, you know, funny. Sorry, my brain is just in rot mode of just, like, reference. Yeah, you could say that. Apparently, the voice actor for Resident Evil, Leon, current, um, Nick Apostolides, probably I'm saying that wrong, got into voice acting because of Paul Mercier and had him mentor him on how to voice Leon. That's, that's a really nice story. That's a really nice story. I like I like to hear that. And and good on Capcom for going in this direction. Uh, yes, part of me would have loved to have Paul back as Leon, of course. But this dude is doing such a great job. Ah, oh, Jesus, that got me. God. Oh my god. This dude is doubly terrifying. I'm not doing it. I'm not breaking the vase. We'll have to wait. Nice. Those are permanent scars now. Oh my god, oh Jesus. Jesus. The new cereal from Christ.
why why is there no prompt now? Jesus. It, it, well, it could have been worse. No prompt when they're attacking. That would explain it. Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. I can't speak anymore. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. Next typewriter. That was no clause for alarm. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing. You were right about the animals, though. Huh. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. Again, it's familiar, but I still don't know what's around the corner, so to speak. And I like that. Like, yes, we are in the castle. We are in Salazar's castle. And yet, I'm excited to see what awaits us. And I feel like... I feel like so far, it, um, the village felt pretty faithful, but just a little expanded. And I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing here, or if they're going to just, like, kind of have different routing through the castle. We'll find out. Oh, cool, got a new weapon. that texture. I sure do love video game graphics. Just checking. I don't know. Won't budge. Ah! There's a sword over there, so I think...
um, I think we're gonna need the sword. Bet you could ring those gongs by shooting them. Oh, thanks, Ashley. have late night brain rot right about now, chat. What's that used for? Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. Killing? I don't know. Stabbing? Oh, this is my stabbing sword. <laughs> My kingdom for a typewriter. Hey, hey, hey. Ashley helped me before. She helped me eke out a solution. <laughs> she helped me squeak out a solution. I stole that one from the chat member, but, yeah. I figured, eek, wh what do you say when you see a mouse, right? Gotta explain the joke. Yeah. Oh, that was you, Sin? Well, you are a chat member. Don't get all high and mighty on us now. Hang on, this is the same room as before, isn't it? I think there's a shortcut ladder. Cool. Yep, that'll do. I'm uh, loving the game. Still loving it, chat. Oh, nothing but the finest way. Well, thank you all for watching this. This has been wonderful. Um, All right. Actually, it doesn't matter. I saved already. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know when I'll be doing more of this, but I think maybe next week I'll try to return to a two-game night like I usually do. Like I said, I'm playing catch-up because I really just want to play the game. And it's, gr it's great. I'm enjoying the fuck out of it. And thank you for the help. Thank you for just the support and for the... the terrible jokes. I like terrible jokes, as you can tell. I make terrible jokes. And we will continue this soon. I don't know when soon, but maybe maybe even this weekend, and if not, then for sure next week. And I have some other stuff that I'm planning on streaming, but I'm, I'm really just enjoying playing Resident Evil 4 at the moment. Uh, more dredge on the way. And some other stuff that I plan on streaming. That Wild Frost game is going to be out in a couple weeks, too. So I'm excited for that. And, uh, yeah. Of course, we'll also be around for Sunday stream. So, goodbye. Good night. And thank you again.
And the gyro worked. Aside from the beginning, the gyro fucking worked the rest of the time. Hallelujah. And, and my headset is great. I'm really enjoying it. I am very happy with the replacement. Finally, after 10 or maybe even a little bit more long years. Luigi, 10 long years. Good night. Hello. We're all very happy to be 